anybody who's occupied space on the internet lately is very likely familiar with the boomer meme, seeking to patronize old people into a funny, simple meme. It's old. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Go. From politicians to news anchors, the boomer meme has certainly taken off in mainstream society. But the boomer is not an isolated phenomenon. Accompanying the boomer meme is also the doomer and the bloomer memes. Whether the boomer, the doomer, or the bloomer, these memes seek to explain different ideologies existing within different generations in society. You see, the boomer is not limited to baby boomers. The boomer represents the previous generations who are responsible for a lot of the problems the world has and thinking that there's some sort of greater meaning to it. The boomer, in a sense, is ignorant to the issues that plague our society and therefore don't try to make an active effort to repair damages that may have been caused by their generation. The bloomer is the younger generation who believes there is some sort of meaning in life and that though the world is full of problems, they still can find beauty and happiness in the world around him. This is contrasted to the doomer, who does not see meaning in the world around him and has more of a pessimistic outlook on life. Most importantly, I'd like to focus on the Doomer and the Bloomer meme for just a second, as these are very important reflections of post-postmodernism in the society around us and how our generation has grown to view the world. The Doomer's existence is one paved with much pain and suffering, seemingly. The Doomer feels no joy in life and has a lot of ideology similar to that of Nietzsche or Schopenhauer. Schopenhauer was once quoted saying, Every time a man is born, the clock of human life is wound up to once anew repeat the same old two, played innumerable times, movements, and measure by measure with insignificant variations. You see, Schopenhauer was very famous for being the father of what we would call pessimism. Schopenhauer believed that we were slaves to our passions and slaves to the things that were supposed to keep us alive. The only reason we females was for the sake of mating, the only reason we ate was for the sake of staying alive, and the only reason we drank was for the sake of satiating our thirst. Schopenhauer believed that life was defeated in meaningfulness because of the power that we gave to uncontrollable desires. Schopenhauer gave two ways that we could potentially escape from this, that being celibacy or being able to completely cut oneself off from sex or urges of hunger and being able to have complete control over our lives. Schopenhauer himself though recognized that this is a very difficult feat for the average man to do, so he instead offered that people focus on expression through art and a self-realization that comes from the expression of creativity in art. Through finding a meaning in life through the creativity of artistic expression, one could find a great me greater meaning in the world around them through the way that they perceived it. Similarly, Nietzsche recognized that religion in its most classical form had begun to outgrow society during the 1800s and that it no longer helped satiate the problems that people were dealing with. Much like how Marx called religion an opioid for the masses, Nietzsche believed that religion and similar beliefs were holding people back from seeing the world from what it really was. Now granted, since then, religion and belief has morphed a lot, and it's much better at accommodating the real problems that we do face today. However, the bloomer and the doomer exist for a reason. A lot of people in these modern generations feel that they have been left out of something greater, and that somehow life has just lost the magic that it once promised to them when they were children. This is not totally uncommon, though. It's part of a greater philosophical movement going on now called post-postmodernism. And Postmodernism. Let's focus on the Doomer for a second. The Doomer represents an earlier phase of philosophy, postmodernism. The idea that everything is meaningless, that there's no higher purpose or greater meaning to everything. And once we accepted that ideology, then we could wallow in our own self pity. Society was dead, ideology was dead, and there was no reason to really see any meaning beyond that. We just work and live the bare minimum and try to find some sort of solace to the things around us. For the past 10 to 20 years, postmodernism has facilitated much of what was considered groundbreaking Western media, much of 
critically acclaimed cartoon culture or comedy focused on this idea from postmodernism that life was indeed pointless. Now enter the bloomer. Similar to modern characters like Bo Burnham, the musical celebrity who reflects a lot of post-postmodernism in his own work, the bloomer recognizes that life may not have intrinsic value and that there is a lot of pain and suffering and existential plaguing in life. The bloomer chooses to find meaning in the little things, whether it be sunset, spending time with friends and family. The bloomer does not let the tr painful truths of life hold them back from enjoying the one life that they have. Post-postmodernism kind of asserts that though life is meaningless, we can find some sort of meaning on our own. Contrasted with postmodernism, which just annihilates all point of purpose in life. So when we look at the boomer meme, what we see is that there are two very contrasting parts of society right now. Though yes, the doomer seems to be the most popular pick, the bloomer and the doomer are the most important parts of this meme because they reflect how people in this generation feel contrasted with the boomer. While the boomer doesn't have the same existential crises that modern generations have, there are two ways that existential crisis can be managed. It could be managed in the way of the doomer, which rejects all sense of self-realization and chooses rather to seclude into its own existential abyss, or the place of the bloomer, who exercises self-realization and sees that life doesn't have to be meaningless, and that through the love of the self and through the love of others, that life can indeed regain some sort of meaning. So there you go, it's, it seems like a funny meme on the surface, but there's actually a very deep philosophical undertone plaguing what would normally look like a harmless internet meme. Thank you for watching. Shalom Aleichem, Velita